Now it's time to count down the top 10 submissions from the 2021 PFL regular season. Check it out. Wow. What a fight. And Sales has to be shaking his head going, what do I need? Oh, oh, this guy. Oh, Brandon Sales drops loose with the second time. Shot and Sales trying to pour it on. Usman continues to fight on. What arm? Sales drags him back, bellies him out, and here comes a choke. Rear naked is in. Sales has the hands clasped. Left the hand on his own right bicep. Oh, it's underneath the neck. Usman might go to sleep here. He's out. Brandon Sales chokes Mohamed Usman unconscious and scores a five point second round victory. And Sales just going, you know what? Punches aren't working. I gotta put this guy out. And that is the beauty of the submission game. It doesn't matter how tough you are. You shut off the blood to the brain. You can put him out. And that's exactly what Sales did. Remain Kenny Florian. If you need a finish, as Corey Hendricks does, what's your best chance of getting it here? Oh my goodness, it's got to come from the rear naked choke. If he could slip that glove underneath the neck, slide that wrist across the neck of Martin Hamlet, I think he should go to a body triangle to secure the position. Then he can hold the cross wrist and pound away with one arm, and with that free arm, go for the rear naked choke. Hamlet trying to sit up and out. Oh, there it is. Now he's got the arm underneath the neck. Can Hamlet survive? One minute as Corey Hendricks squeezes away. Hamlet trying to roll out. The choke is in. I'm done with it. Corey Hendricks submits Martin Hamlet for four points. Corey Hendricks looked like he was going to miss position, was able to follow up, get that rear naked choke in the transition. And from here, Martin Hamlet just in big time trouble. Nice defense by Tom Lawler, defended off, but he is in trouble here. Mounted by Antonio Carlos Jr. Able to escape from trying to grab this single here. And now Carlos Jr. flops back on a guillotine attempt. Oh, that's very tight. He's got the arm in. He can finish it. the mount position. Here it is. Lawler trying to get out of there. Went to the single leg. He tried so hard to get out. Only went right into that arm and guillotine from Antonio Carlos Jr. He says, now this is how you finish it. Had the arm trapped on top of that. That was brutal. Oh, nice takedown there by Stern. Stern will finish the round on top here as the 10 second clapper sounds. He's inside control. I lied to you. Nice reverse. Sweet. Oh, oh, Shame on the walls. Kimura victory in the reversal on the submission. He grabs the wrist, then gets the hand behind the back, and from there, Stern was going to get rolled. Was he going to get submitted? Yes, he got it way behind. Million dollar championship, you must be in the top four. Jason Ponet scores 92 on the FPR for a victory in round one, according to our algorithm, as Joao Zeferino dives in for a takedown early here in round two. He's able to cinch the legs together and get it. Try to isolate that left arm of Pone, climb into position. If he gets good angle and position on it, we'll see him. There it is. Joel Zeferino forces the tap with the shoulder choke. You see that left arm across the body of Pone, that never is a good position. And of course, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Joel Zeferino, taking full advantage of that, pinning both shoulders to the mat, getting nice and low across the neck of Pone. And Pone trying to hold on, trying to push with that left arm, and not enough. Had to tap out. Body kick there from Kayla Harrison. Straight left. Dan Wild dives for a low single. Pulled over by Kayla Harrison. Uh oh. Kayla doing a good job of controlling that wrist and pounding away with her free hand. Now she's fast. Luffy trying to set up an armbar. 
There it is. There it is. She sits over. Will the barrier stop her from laying back on it? As Dan Wall walks out, she actually gives Kayla the space. And there is the tap. Kayla Harrison, Ardbar, Cindy Dan Wall, hyper extends that elbow. Quick six for Kayla Harrison. Harrison just poured it on. There she is from Mount. She was trapping that wrist, setting up that arm bar, spinning beautifully right into it. Aware of her surroundings, getting her back away from the cage. And there she is. She separates that arm away from the body, getting full leverage, her hips underneath the fulcrum of that elbow. Pulls down at the end of the lever, bridges her hips, and that's what's going to dislocate, injure, or even break the arm. Rory looking for that double leg. He's trying to clap his hands around both of the legs of Millinder. If he can do that, it's going to be a much easier takedown. He's getting pretty deep with that knee position. There's the hand there it is. He gets him, but that is enough to score the takedown. Millinder surrenders it. They're building the base, a couple hammer fists for him to think about. And he rolls. Two minutes left. Two minutes is a long time to have the Red King on your back, Katie Florian. It sure is. The coach for Curtis Millinder is trying to tell him to put some pressure on the left out. leg of Rory McDonald. There is a little now. foot lock right attack you can, with two. you can do from that position, but very difficult to do. And now is on the wrong on the side. Ground. Rory McDonald working to try to get that arm underneath the neck of Millinder. Nice defense there so far for Millinder. Some heels to the thigh for him to think about. There's the very make a jump underneath the chin. Will it be enough? Millinder peels the top hand Randy, this is a lot of what we thought might happen. Yep, he was calculated. He, he grabbed his distance, shot in on that double, and Millender did a great job of countering for as long as he could, but he finally got his grip, got his hands locked, and was able to pull those legs out. And then he was tactically just softening him up, working, 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 making Millender fight until there you see it. He's got it locked in, and he switches it off to a bulldog, and there's no way you're getting out of that there. Yeah, it looks like a master class on the ground. You don't want Rory McDonald on your back. That's a public service announcement for all you welterweights. <laughs> there in Pearl City, Bonet presses him against the cage. Kenny, not a bad strategic decision to try and lean on Ray Cooper. And up and down, Ray Cooper slams Jason Bonet. Caught the leg and picked him up. It was up to that point, John. <laughs> nice takedown there. I should say, not a takedown, a slam there by Ray Cooper. Oh, and he's in a great position to an arm triangle. If he can slide his left knee across the belly, he can get out to the left side of Pone and finish this. A lot of pressure, big yeah, he is right now. He's out. He's out. Jason Pone surrenders Ray Cooper the third. Submits Jason Pone for a quick six points. Oh boy, what a lovely takedown there. Pone was landing that knee and then he caught it. Lifts him up, puts a little extra. Juice into it there with that slam. And it was a tragic mistake here from Pone. Another touch of the gloves. The southpaw spawn tries to avoid a takedown, and right down he goes again. Five seconds into the round, Randy. Man, nice single leg, little head outside single, dumps him, puts spawn right on his back. Hamlet was not playing around in the standing position with the southpaw. Here in the second round, still potentially two bonus points up for grabs. You get three points for a win. If you finish in the oh. second round, that'd be good for two. And Hamlet trying to set up a shoulder choke here on Dan Spawn. Yeah, he's got some I pressure. Think he, I think he's got it. I think he put him out. Dan Spawn is out. Nice single leg, head outside single. He does a great job of following through and putting Spawn on his back at the start of the second round. Here you see the head. Gets the head, the arm triangle, got pressure there. Bicep on one carotid artery. Dan Spawn's own shoulder on the other carotid artery. You'll see it cinch up, and there he goes. Jumping knee attempt there from Millinder. Mockman catches him and wrestles him to the cage. Trying to set up an Ezekiel choke here is Magomed Magomed Karamov. Yeah, that was oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Goes out! Magomed Magomed Karamov and Ezekiel choke to put Curtis Millinder to sleep and secure a first round finish. Good 
for six points. Wow. Moore again. Flying knee. Does a great job of catching the flying knee, not taking it on the chin. Second effort, follows through, keeps his feet moving, secures the takedown, gets on top position, and then suddenly cinches up the choke. It's such a luxury to have that wrestling ability and the well-rounded game that Magomed has made his trademark. Magomed Magomed Karimov, Maga Millions, as we like to call him, once again showing off his killer ground game. That was his ninth career win by submission. And now he's on his way to the welterweight semifinals for a shot at his second PFL world title.